Hello and welcome to today's exercise. The task of the day is to factorize the expression given on the board. Now we can see that the highest power of x in this polynomial is 3. So we cannot use the normal methods of factorization that we use for quadratic expressions. That is expressions where the highest power of x is 2. So how do we go about it? First of all, let us appreciate the fact that this is a function of x only. F of x. This is how we denote it in mathematics, f of x. What does that mean? It simply means that the values of this function depends only on values of x that we choose. So for instance, if we choose for x to be equal to 1, then what we do is to plug 1 into any place in the expression where we have x. So that is 1 cubed plus 13 times 1 squared plus 32 times 1 plus 20. Using a calculator to evaluate this, we have that this expression is equal to 66. We can also decide, okay, let x be equal to 0 0.5. Once more, we simply plug in 0 0.5 into all the places that we have x in the expression. So that is 0 0.5 cubed plus 13 multiplied by 0 0.5 squared plus 32 multiplied by 0 0.5 plus 20. And this, when evaluated with a calculator, is equal to 39.375. Now, there is a theorem we have in mathematics. We call it the factor theorem that says that if we are able to find a number that if we plug it into this expression we get zero then x minus that number is a factor of this expression so we have tried one and we got 66 we have tried 0 0.5 and we got this number let us try minus one so we have minus one cube plus 13 multiplied by minus 1 squared plus 32 multiplied by minus 1 plus 20. Now here we have minus 1 because minus 1 times minus 1 times minus 1 is minus 1. Here we have plus 13 minus 1 squared is 1. So we have 13 here. Now 32 times minus 1 is minus 32. And of course, we have the constant term plus 20. Now, minus 1 plus 13 is 12. 12 minus 32 is minus 20. Minus 20 plus 20 is equal to 0. So, bam, we have minus 1. So, that simply tells us that x minus minus 1 is a factor of this expression. So now that we have found a factor of this expression, the next step is to divide this expression by this factor to find the other factors. So we set up our long division table. We have x cubed plus 13x squared plus 32x plus 20 inside. And we have x, remember, x minus minus 1 is equal to x plus 1. So we begin our division. x cubed divided by x will give us x squared. x multiplied by x squared is x cubed plus 1 multiplied by x squared is plus x squared. We subtract. This minus this is 0. 13 minus 1 is 12x squared. We bring down the other terms. We go again. 12x squared divided by x is equal to 12x. 
x multiplied by this is equal to 12x squared plus 1 multiplied by 12x is equal to 12x. Once more, we subtract. Of course, this is equal to 0. 32 minus 12 will give us 20x plus 20. We divide again. 20x divided by x is equal to 20. Now, x multiplied by 20 is equal to 20x. Plus 1 multiplied by 20 is equal to 20. We have 0. So you can see that after this division, we have that this expression divided by this factor is equal to this. So it simply means that x plus 1 multiplied by x squared plus 12x plus 20 is this. So we found two factors of this expression. That is this one and this one. So the next step and the last step is to go on and check if we can further factorize this quadratic expression that we have. So we have x squared plus 12x plus 20. Now, the coefficient of x squared in this expression is 1. So we multiply. x squared multiplied by this is equal to 20x squared. Now we look for factors of 20 that will add up to plus 12. And what are they? Of course, we have 10x and 2x. Because 10x times 2x is equal to 20x squared. And 10x plus 2x is equal to 12x. So we have x squared plus 10x plus 2x plus 20 here. That is replacing this plus 12 with the two numbers we found. So here we have x into x plus 10. Sorry. And we have plus 2 into x plus 10. Telling us that the factors here are x plus 2 and x plus 10. So from here we have we found three factors, x plus 1, x plus 2, and x plus 10. So that simply tells us that if we factorize this, this is what we get. To test this, you can remember, you can find f of minus 2 and see if it gives you 0. Also, you can find f of minus 10 and see if it gives you zero. And that's that for today. See you in the next one.